In the book of Tabarani, there's a narration. مَرَّ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمَ بِعَرَابِيٍّ وَهُوَ يَدْعُ فِي صَلَاتِهِ The Prophet ﷺ passed by a Bedouin man and he was making dua. He was praying in his salah, making dua in his prayer, his salah. So the Prophet فَوَقَفَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمَ The Prophet ﷺ stopped and he started to listen to him. And he heard the man saying, يَا مَنْ لَا تَرَاهُ الْعُيُونَ Oh, the one who eyes cannot behold in this world. وَلَا تُخَالِتُهُ الظُّنُونَ Minds cannot comprehend his greatness. People cannot praise him as he deserves to be praised. Situations do not change him. He does not fear the passing of time. He, Allah, is the one who knows the exact weight of all the mountains in the world. He, Allah, knows the exact volume of all the oceans in the world. He, Allah, knows the exact number of drops of rain that fall from the sky. He, Allah, alone knows the exact number of leaves on all the trees of the entire world. And He, Allah, knows the exact number and detail of all of those things that the day illuminates with its light and the night hides in its darkness. One sky cannot shield another sky from Allah. One ground cannot shield another layer of ground from Allah. And a mountain in its deepest, darkest cave cannot hide anything from Allah. And the ocean in its depths and darkness cannot hide anything from Allah. And then he makes a dua. He says, Allahumma ja'al khayra umri akhirahu. He says, Oh Allah, make the best part of my life the last part of my life. Make the best of my actions the last action that I do in this life. Going out on top. And oh Allah, make the best day of my life be the day that I will leave this world and return back to meet you. That's the spiritual perspective. That is the benefit and the blessing of reconnecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.